Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope that you're doing really wonderful and we're going to be taking a look at the latest for or two disturbances out there in the main development region and we'll also be focusing on what is going on across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, now let us get straight into it. We're going to be kickstarting with the Caribbean. Uh, and here we can see that there is a lot going on over in the western part of the basin and near Florida, especially for the Keys in southern Florida. A lot of thunderstorms there being induced by a trough, which is in the region, even across parts of the Bahamas as well. And going to Cuba, we see lots of activity and uh, additional showers and thunderstorms are across some spots in Jamaica developing this afternoon and across parts of Central America. So a lot of moisture over here helping to enhance the rainfall activity that we see. Going to Hispaniola also, some thunderstorms popping up mainly across the Dominican Republic, across Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, maybe a bit of activity moving through, bringing a passing shower or so. And a similar story across sections of the Leeward Islands. Some thunderstorms were near Antigua earlier. And then as we head further to the south, though, going to the Grenadines, uh, St. Vincent, Grenada, Trinidad, Tobago, and uh, even as we're looking into parts of Venezuela and going into the Guyanas, we also see that there is quite a bit of activity popping up across some areas, so that tropical wave is helping to induce all that moisture, and as a result, uh, there can be periods of very heavy rain which trigger flooding, especially in those flood-prone areas, and so guys, please proceed with caution should you encounter such an event, and then as you look over into Colombia not seen as much some isolated thunderstorms here and there going over into Panama Costa Rica there is also some activity in the area but then for the ABC Islands, it remains pretty dry and hot with little activity seen in the area. And now we want to go out to the east. Let's go toward the coast of Africa. And here we can see our two areas being monitored for potential development over the next seven days. Now this one here, this robust tropical wave that we see coming off Africa is given the higher chance. So the chance hasn't changed from this morning, but there are some shifts in the potential track of them. So I'll be taking you guys to those very shortly, but there, uh, these are very disorganized right now. That one is uh, kind of struggling with some of the dry air out there. It's going to be a problem for both of these, really. Uh, let's look at the dry air map, and here we can see it. So most of the activity right now is remaining to the south of all this dry air, but there could still be some infiltration, which can uh, help to stabilize conditions, preventing any major thunderstorms from developing an overall inhibiting any tropical cyclone development but some models are still sniffing at seeing something coming from these gfs euro in the latest runs the 12z runs showing something pretty interesting these two combining so we'll be looking at that shortly as well but for now a lot of dry air a lot of dust out there extended into the caribbean maybe bringing some hazy skies and uh helping to limit the rainfall activity and when we have more of these stronger tropical waves coming off the coast of africa They'll be helping to increase all that moisture content across the main development region and that will in turn favor more activity, more of those tropical waves to come in the future, uh, having a better chance, a better probability of developing. And of course, next month is September, the peak of the hurricane season, which is just, uh, just around two weeks out from now. So going on to the latest from the National Hurricane Center, here we can see both of these systems. As for that one, we're seeing that northwestward track expected in the latter part of this uh, shaded area right here. So this might not fully enter the Caribbean, but it might stay just outside the region. And uh, as we take a look at that next one, that should remain out there. It might not be a problem for anyone, but nevertheless, we could see something become of it. But I'm expecting that it will struggle, and I'm not expecting to see much uh, coming from the system. And then as we go on to what models have to show, so we're going to be looking at the GFS and Euro 12Z runs. And uh, here we have the GFS up first. Now, where we see these shades of green, 
greens and those yellows reds those are areas of moisture the precipitation rate and those squiggly lines we see those are the isobars now these join areas of equal pressure and when we're looking for tropical cyclones we're looking for them being in a circular manner and the more that we see uh, and the more tightly packed they are that is indicative of a strengthening or a strong system so we're going to be looking at what uh, gfs and euro have to show so as we look at gfs here this is as we head into tomorrow go into thursday and we have these systems being in close proximity as we head to the weekend we start to see them rotating around each other not becoming anything significant but that is known as the fujiwara effect so it's a little funny word here but it is basically describing these two low pressure systems these two storms uh rotating or spinning around each other and if we have one being stronger then that could become the dominant one not that it is going to absorb the smaller one and become a big massive storm out there but it could result in dissipation of the weaker one so as we're seeing nothing crazy is expected from this but as we head further out into the end of the model run we're seeing where gfs is still picking up on something in the gulf the model keeps changing it is inconsistent about uh when and where we could see development over in the western atlantic but uh this is not too surprising to see because as we're talking about something uh heading further out in time accuracy tends to decrease and gfs isn't always the best model out there but uh let's go on to see what the euro has to show so euro is expecting that as we're going to be heading into tomorrow go into thursday we're going to have these two low pressure areas out there heading to the end of this week and i also want to bring your attention to that uh, moisture increase and that is actually expected from the tropical wave which is about to enter the caribbean so very interesting here the uh, euro has it that hey this could eventually make its way into the vicinity of the gulf of mexico and try to develop into something but uh we have seen many models hopping onto a potential gulf system as we head into next week but nothing official is there on the national hurricane center's outlook map and then as for those two systems let's go back a little bit here there you can see them being very close in proximity so gfs and euro expecting that we might see some interaction between these low pressure areas eventually one could become dominant and the model is also showing that we could see something else another tropical wave moving off africa and developing now with that big tropical wave out there right now that's going to be moving to the west northwest over the next couple of days that could actually help to increase the moisture ahead of the future tropical waves to emerge off the coast of africa now that will help to create a more conducive environment but uh, in order to see development or the ideal conditions would be reduced wind shear combined with moisture and uh, those very warm sea surface temperatures are already out there so it is really the dry air that is the main problem right now but let's see what's going to be happening over the course of the next couple of days and so guys that is what i wanted to share with you in this update Date, and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments i will respond once i get the chance and you can also share your thoughts there and as always remember to be with the wise